My name is Ashley Birch, and I play Aloy in Horizon Forbidden West. I'm Ben McCaw. I'm the narrative director at Gorilla. My name is Denise Campbell, and I'm the curatorial assistant here at the Rijksmuseum, where I get to work with all these amazing works of art. Horizon Forbidden West is set in a post-post-apocalyptic future full of lush, beautiful nature and massive, awe-inspiring machines. Basically, Aloy, our protagonist, is trying to stop uh, a blight from spreading um, that's destroying crops and creating storms, and she's basically trying to save it from sort of a climate change apocalypse. So in the game, Aloy explores the ruins of the ancient past, including its technology, its culture, and its history but not just the history of its final days, much before that as well. So as the idea for the collaboration emerged, we started to think about how we could get the collection at the museum into the game in some way. How could we get it into the story? But then I got to thinking about this character in our game, Tilda. She's a kind of power broker from the ancient past. And I got to thinking, could she be of Dutch ancestry? Could she have this collection of art? Could it have survived in a vault for a thousand years? Could the player really experience it? So the more we discussed it with the team, the more the idea took hold and the more excited about it we got. And we decided to double down on it and make this moment with Tilda and her art collection and the pieces from the museum a major moment in the game. And the museum got excited about it as well. And that's when they brought in Denise to help us select some of the pieces for Tilda's vault. That was actually quite interesting because I immediately had these connections with, oh, this could work with this object and this could work with that object. And of course, uh, we had to discuss it with the, with the curators and immediately from the start we got very excited um, because her character actually matched, her background story matched uh, immediately with a couple of works that uh, also made it into, into the game. Aloy's relationship with Tilda is complicated, to say the least. Um, Tilda is a member of a group called the Far Zeniths, who are the antagonists of uh, Forbidden West. Tilda had a relationship with a significant person in Aloy's life, um, which motivates her in a way that maybe Aloy doesn't realize. So they have a contentious relationship, which I think makes it really interesting. It was uh, interesting to see that there was a certain depth, I think, in the in the character. So um, besides her being an expert in 17th century Dutch painting, there were also these deeper layers of her emotional state that were um, really nice, nicely um, explained to me. So we could actually quite fast make a nice selection of, uh, of artworks that would suit the narrative of the game. And uh, I just started looking through our database uh, to see which kind of uh, 17th century works of art um, we could match to this story. The fact that Gorilla is uh, a Dutch company is important and it's significant. And I think getting to honor Dutch culture and to have a representation of Dutch art in the game, I think is really special. Working with the museum has been an absolute pleasure. Their excitement for the project was obvious from the beginning. And when Denise made her selections for Tilda's collection, it just blew me away. It was like every piece was iconic and beautiful. And it was almost like Denise knew the character better than we did. <laughs> it was really nice, actually. I, I distinctly remember um, the moment where I was presenting uh, the selection of works that, uh, that we gathered. As we moved through the list and I was presenting the different artworks, I could just see the excitement growing in their eyes. Um, and I think the, the last work that I presented was uh, the frenzy, the, the statue. And uh, I could just <laughs> see Ben sort of exploding on the inside because uh, with that work we really took it a step further because it wasn't really based on exactly the brief uh, that we received. Mm -hmm. 
We simply couldn't imagine doing a version of the Rijksmuseum's collection in Tilda's vault without the Night Watch, the most famous of Rembrandt's paintings and really the ultimate symbol of Dutch heritage and of Tilda's heritage. And also, it's a symbol of how grand a cultural artifact can be and why they need to be preserved. Selecting the Night Watch, well, that was an easy choice, <laughs> of course. I think if you're talking about uh, the most iconic uh, 17th century Dutch uh, paintings, I think the Night Watch is the first one uh, that you think of. Tilda, as a, a preservationist, uh, she wanted to save the art from destruction. Um, well, you see it here in the Rijksmuseum, the prominent spot that it holds, um, it would be the first choice. So it's a painting that, that she would take with her without thinking about it. When Aloy enters Tilda's vault for the first time and sees all the art, she actually really doesn't know Tilda at all. So she's examining each object with the goal of trying to learn more about Tilda's personality and motivation. That's what makes the dialogue come to life. It's not just two people talking about some of the greatest treasures in Dutch history. It's two people trying to use those objects to learn more about each other and gain an advantage. And the art offers a visually stunning and fascinating way for them to do that. So I think that's something that's also kind of special about the vault is that, you know, she's never had an occasion to walk through a museum or, you know, in a way, kind of a monumental moment to be able to walk through this space and see these ancient, ancient pieces of art and to have reactions to it. It's almost like her first exposure to that kind of experience, having emotions reflected back in art that might feel maybe even safer to her. My favorite piece in the vault, I really like the woman reading a letter, and I can't exactly explain why. There's just something, there's something so intimate about it. It feels a bit like you sort of walked in on a room and, of someone having an intimate moment, but there's something kind of like you're being let in on, on an emotional moment that's being captured in this really beautiful, intricate detail. It has that sort of emotional intimacy that I think is really nice. It really fits the narrative of the game. We don't know the contents of the letter, we don't know what, what it's about, um, and we cannot really see what is her reaction. So it's really a matter of um, using your imagination to, to see what she's thinking while she is reading this letter. Um, but for me, I actually painted a little uh, hint in the background, because we can see a map. So maybe she is waiting for a loved one that's out on sea. Of course, Tilda also left Earth and had to leave everyone behind. And she identifies with this painting of uh, longing for someone that is not with her. Well, Horizon has beautiful nature and awe-inspiring machines and plenty of action. But it's also at its core really about the relationship between the past and the present, about how ideas and emotions are passed down through generations. So art, of course, does that better than anything else. Of course, it's a lens into the past, but it also evokes universal emotions in the present. Loss, love, sadness, hope. If nothing else, the collaboration between Gorilla and the Rice Museum is about showing off that dynamic, how art echoes the past, inspires us in the present and continues to do so in the future. And that's, of course, why it's so important to preserve art through the ages. There you are.